it is because of this hero women's professional golf tour and all the you know it, there's a lot of uh, work that goes on behind the scenes in terms of what is super governance the hard work of our people who travel mr vivek sharma and uh, our tour managers our referees to make this tour get recognition say that without sincere commitment that we are going to find a way of this continuity for the next the few generations of golfers that we are going to see in the next 2 3 decades so ladies and gentlemen it's been quite a journey and i would say that all of us all of you have been now i'm sure you know looking at us stand here for the last 15 years um we are going to go take this tour to another level and I hopefully it should happen soon for the 200 yards the prize pool as you all know the winner check is 60000 US dollars uh this is been our largest field uh, 120 players this proves that the growing demand is uh you know rising and honestly if we had more daylight hours in october the field would be even larger they should be there will be about 73 uh, european tour players representing 28 countries uh 37 from india making the field of 120 as far as diksha is concerned everybody knows her terrific form that we have witnessed in the last two months it has been uh, absolutely stunning uh i have sat through the night watching and uh, trying to encourage whatever we can do on the behalf of wgi and honestly it's it's been lovely and i would like to thank all the press people here who helped to repost and you know send their good wishes on on twitter it seems to be the the done thing a lot of reposts and great uh, acknowledgments and kudos to uh, diksha diksha as you all know ladies and gentlemen from the beginning of this year where she started her journey was number for the olympics which are paris 2024 she started at 60th position and in a matter of the short period from may june to september her position is now 43 out of 60 players and that is highly commendable i don't think any player has had that kind of a graph of uh, you know the race to the olympics at paris i have no doubt that diksha is going to continue her hard work the next 2 3 weeks are very important i know diksha is playing in hong kong and then coming to play in the women's indian open this position of hers second on the ladies uh, european tour is only by 10 points which is nothing so diksha wish you all the best for that and we look forward to seeing a big indian win this year at the indian open a strong comeback we've seen like mrs singh said some of our older players which is fantastic and our players tribino the number 2 on the let ranking is also going to be here she's confirmed her participation as much as olivia kovan from germany she is going to be defending her title so it's going to be quite a quite a you know uh, what should i say high pressure and challenging uh, women in the open everybody is going to be vying for something phenomenal ladies and gentlemen um, as mrs singh already said we will be happy and we will be welcoming all of you um look forward to another very successful women's indian open and we have not 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 uh, what should i said it's, it's quite a stunning amateur golfer uh, 
uh, Avni Prashant, who won the Queen Siddiqui this year. She will lead the amateur challenge at the Hero Women's Indian Open. Uh, I wish all the players good luck and we hope to see all of you enjoying the tournament. So we've seen this year, especially uh, through the summer, it's, it's been quite unpredictable in terms of uh, heavy spurts of rain, high humidity and you know the course, uh, the turf generally takes a beating. How does the club cope with all this and keep the course pristine through the year? I would attribute it to two facts, uh, two aspects. Uh, firstly, we have, we have a great team, um, a team that is very experienced and has been there for many years. Um, and they they understand the Indian weather conditions. They understand uh, exactly what they need to do. Um, um, the second aspect, I think, um, ever since the inception of the Gary Player course um, and before as well, I'm sure it's always been blessed with uh, state of the art technology. Um, we, we've been uh, very fortunate to have uh, things like subway systems and. Uh, weather stations and things like that that uh, you know allow us to foresee what's coming and uh, with a little bit of hard work and effort uh, we continue to keep the course primed and always ready so i think from that perspective um, we are ready for the show i think we're going to put up a really tough course for the ladies and we're going to make sure that we get challenging but we're also very very uh, excited to have everybody come over uh, it's uh, it's a very short period of time where we actually invite people to come and enjoy the, you know, the Christianity and uh, the sublime nature of that entire oasis. So, uh, you know, to the members of the press, uh, I would suggest that if you're able to put the word out, uh, it would be really nice. I think these events, uh, as far as I could see last year and it was my first year, I think it was most successful because of the, the vibe and the ambience and there were so many people and everybody was enjoying great talent. And, I think that's what really also adds to all of it. So while we are very happy to have a, a full house of ladies playing the tournament, we're also looking to hope and hoping that we can extend our hospitality to a lot of people who come uh, to us tournament. So yeah, thank you. The uh, hero modem of support to golf in India is now almost two decades. And uh, we thank you for your support. And uh, how do you see this um, uh, continuing actually strengthening in years to come. Uh, so, Karan, as you rightly said, uh, the, the commitment uh, has been long term. Uh, uh, there would be arguably very few organizations who have stayed committed for such a long time to one particular sport. Of course, in our case, we uh, support multiple disciplines of sports. Uh, but golf, again, as you rightly said, it's been close to three decades uh, when uh, the game itself was at a very nascent stage uh, in the country. And very few people were taking to the sport and very few corporates were supporting the game. So that support uh, continues, uh, as you rightly said. But it's, let me put it this way, it's not just about a corporate supporting uh, golf. Uh, your, uh, it's a beautiful collaboration uh, between us, between WGI, between DLF Golf, which has really made it flourish uh, the way it has over the years. Uh, and while Mr. Singh mentioned about uh, interacting with me directly, but I think they're right on the Edison one. Apologies. Uh, not at all. Not at all. No, 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 no. That's not a fair. <laughs> not at all. No, please. I didn't mean it in that. No, yeah. of course yeah. I understand. Yeah. So, uh, so, and so for me personally also, it has been a, uh, like a front row seat to see golf, women's golf, uh, grow in the country the way it is. I think it's nothing less than phenomenal. And having played a small role in that, all of us uh, at Hero Motor Club, and of course, uh, uh, it has also been a personal commitment of Dr. Pawan Mujal, like Mr. Singh said, uh, Mr. Sial also mentioned about that. Uh, how he has stood by his sport all these years um, and so and organizationally with that as well. So it, it gives us immense satisfaction to see uh, our young golfers uh, really making a mark in all the global circuits, uh, all the tours. Uh, and I can only say that the future is absolutely promising, very exciting future ahead for all of us who are in the 
golf ecosystem in the country. Challenging the season pros. And, and you know, they're, they're fighting neck to neck with, with every tournament and, and uh, you see the scores, it's, it's phenomenal. What do you attribute this, this change, this spurt, this growth of um, women's golf at that age and, and coming up through the domestic tournament? That's a tough one, Karan. I think uh, you know, having seen five decades of golf in the country, um, I must say, one of the most important things that I have witnessed is the opportunity. The opportunity that we have been able to create, uh, you know, not only for professionals. I think uh, many of you would probably know that we do allow six uh, amateur golfers to come and compete on the Euro Women's Professional Golf Tour. Uh, that's been a, a very important, uh, you know, what should I say, uh, reason. Now, there are many, whether it's amateur golf or professional golf, the dividing line between the two is a personal choice, nothing more than that. Uh, you can see that today the Asian Games, Olympics have got professional golfers at the helm and the uh, uh, amateur golfers as well. Uh, it's their own talent that is carrying them forward. And I think what is very important is the challenge, the challenge that the Hero Women's Golf Tour has been able to provide. Like I said, uh, just a uh, short while ago, qualitative. Qualitative golf was required. It's a must. Otherwise, our players cannot go and, and uh, play on international tour. Uh, importantly, though it's a, uh, you know, everybody has to know that golf is played within a limited time. Four hours, four hours, 15 minutes at the outside. Now, you know, we had seen golf in this country previously, which was played in five hours and five and a half hours and uh, with, you know, the amateur in fact, the amateur grooming was uh, not in line with what was required internationally. So, more often than not, uh, it, it kind of uh, you know took up, took the players behind in their performances. Today, because of the qualitative Hero Women's Professional Golf Tour, uh, players are secure that you know they it's a fantastic platform. Number one. Secondly, they are secure because they feel that the uh, you know there's fair play, which is important. It is uh, the golf courses that we play are tough. All kinds of uh, you know conditions of play are weather, whether it's rain. Now you know golf is being played even in places like the northern part of India and uh, NCR in the hot months. So the girls are being able to weather very tough playing condition, and I think that's a very that played a crucial role. Besides that, when the, when they see that you know there are icons like Diksha and Aditya Show, uh, they have something to look forward to. These are you know some of the things, and I'm very proud that the WGI is able to meet a lot of these things different conditions, tougher conditions, and these are the things that are bringing players, uh, you know. Uh, another important thing is I think the future. The future for golf is going to be very interesting. There is a time that will come when players, when this game is going to be taken into classrooms, I mean it, as an education. I think most a lot of countries are realizing the relevance of this game, bringing in a new type of discipline into the younger generation, you know, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, there's no doubt, I'm sure, when it does happen, which is going to be in the next four or five years, you will see this game definitely coming in as a classroom education. So, it, and we're going to grow. This is seen. We all of us, we are very sincere in our commitment 
and hope to see this happen very soon. Thank you. Uh, my question is that uh, besides taking to professional players, uh, are you also providing training to players who are keen to, uh, you know, broaden their prospect in golf or who have little knowledge about golf but they haven't really played so conclusively? So, I don't know if many of you know that on the sidelines of the Real Women's Indian Open, uh, the WGI, we conduct along with, uh, you know, KNA, we, we conduct a uh, camp of excellence. Now, the camp of excellence, players from all over India are invited. Uh, we have a limit of 40 players who are flown from different parts of India as far as Assam, uh, Gujarat, Karnataka, Chennai and uh, NCR of course. They are flown here, the expenses are fully paid for and this is a part of our growing. The growing amateur golfers, their juniors all under the age of 18. When they come here, they are taken and uh, shown what it means to make an international uh, player on an international tour. So we have been running this since 2018 and lots of our young girls who are now playing amateur golf have come through watching and you know uh, practical training. So what happens is the ladies European tour and the WGI our professional golfers are called upon to give these girls talks, uh, you know, teach them. In fact, a couple of them go on the golf course at the DLF on the Anand Palmer course while the tournament is going on and they teach them the finer, finer, uh, you know, points of the game. So we are very much in sync with it and I don't think any other organization in the country, not in the PDTI, not do have done something like this. So it's one of our most uh, precious program that the WGI conducts. So we are well on the road to that. We have to ensure continuity as somebody asked on Twitter, some international person the other day, after uh, who is going to carry the game, who is going to carry the burden of women's golf after Aditi and Diksha. So now we have to look at the next 10 years and we are going to need their help, Diksha's help, Aditi's help to help to further nurture players in the country. You know, the playing of golf is a very, uh, you know, a shell subject. To make it more elaborate for the world to know that you are doing this, is there any broadcaster which you have tried to uh, alliance with? Or it will be shown to the public at large. How it is, because you have seen cricket has become a very, you know, household name. So how you are going to make it a household name in time to come. You have an interesting observation to make it a household name, game. You know, we have faced constant hurdles. This has always unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, been tagged as a rich man's game, Rahiski game. I am sorry, there is more money in cricket than there is in golf in certain ways in India. Everyone supports other sports. They don't. We get no help from the Indian government. And I'm saying that very clearly. This is all because of corporate sponsorships. How do I take something to that level? You asked if I take it to the media on an international level. Whatever exposure we have, we have through Twitter and other reporting by all you gentlemen very kindly. To do a live telecast today, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Who would give us that money? I would love to go live so that everybody in India can see it. We do have capsules which we make and which we can show once the game is over or am I right? Or every after every day or every second day. Every day. But G, please understand our issues. It is so difficult for us. I mean I have gone and met people in the government for support for women's golf and I have been turned down. Why? Please answer this question for me because I have been told, sorry but no, we cannot help you. 
I understand your problem, but we cannot help you. It is heartbreaking for me that I am turned away every single time. Why is it perceived as a rich person's game? Every little girl in every mohalla, in every village in India, in every town in India has a right to this sport. The government does not build, it doesn't take much. You look at Korea, you look at uh, Thailand, all these countries, G, they will have a net put out where girls can just go and hit balls. We don't even provide that. It's only now I'm happy to see with the new government that they are encouraging girls to come into sports. I'm really happy to see that. Whether it is hockey or whether it is wrestling or whether any of these sports, I'm really happy. But I wish you would not ignore golf. And that is where you members of the press can come in. Because it is a very difficult task for us and even for these girls, I mean, I would love for them to go abroad, play more international tournaments. I mean, look at our girls, how quickly they've come up in the past three, four years. Girls, I'm really proud of you. Because I remember getting very angry with you all, saying, be disciplined, you know, work harder, put your heads down, ignore everything else, play your golf, and you win. And you all have proved me right. Honestly, I'm very, very encouraged by what you girls have done. So thank you. I would love more girls. I mean, from four, we are only 58. I would love to have 200 girls on the tour. Look at the merit store. How many guys do they have? 300 close. And this we've only done in a decade. So honestly, members of the press, please write about it. That why does the government, it doesn't cost much. I mean, you all have cycling this, you give people cycle, cycling federation, boxing federation, yay, wo. Why can't you do it for girls? And this is a sport that is, I mean, so you don't need much. You just need three clubs to start with. And you need few balls. Every village, every town, every city can have it. And we will be happy. In fact, even the girls on the international circuit say, that, you know, we have so much of equipment, we are happy to share it with you. Whether it is balls, whether it is clubs, whether it is girls, uh, sex. But then, we are, the customs charge, the duty, which is so incredibly high. And these are second-hand, third-hand pieces of equipment. I would love to send it out to all the girls in all the towns and villages. But we don't get that opportunity to do so, Jeev. So please, I mean, write about it. I'll be very happy. Thank, Thank you. you. Can I continue with uh, your uh, supplement question, if you allow me? Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, military uh, uh, golf course in the Okay, country. to come to that, I know because I faced this question. Military lands are closed for all this. All right, please. So there's nothing we can do about that, though they have some of the best golf courses. But that I respect. It's a law of the land of the government. I can't go against that. One of these ladies, the golfers sitting here, the women golfers, if they can come and address the media. Please, they would be if they can be share us one, one minute right now on the podium. They are also uh, going to be giving their time. Sure. Right. Sure. If you have a specific question, we can request them to come. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank to invite me to hear a press conference. And here I have learned so much about the press conference and I would like to thank Sandra for the compliment and the wishes uh, in Aro's move uh, by Aro's touch. And uh, I'm very uh, excited to play and the, this is the home event and uh, it is going to be exciting to have a home crowd. It's uh, quite familiar. And, uh, Caleb is uh, quite uh, unique and it is my like uh, second home course and this agent has been a uh, very nice and uh, I'm enjoying the game. Yes, uh, sometimes uh, it hasn't been easier journey. Like I would like to thank my sponsor. Uh, Hero is also my title sponsor and uh, like uh, whatever I got the finance and my dad has been uh, very supportive for me. And uh, I have been uh, training by myself. Also, like to just repeat it, he's asking a major professional how she's become a professional. Woman. Your journey from amateur to professional. And how, what, what can amateur professionals or golfers can take from you? 
because if somebody wants a professional call, there are some easy students. What what are the steps that they can do? How much training is involved, or what are the requisites that are required? Mm, uh, look, uh, I love playing call, so I wanted to play. I told my dad that I want to play call. So I started playing uh, national tournaments, and uh, I have won uh, multiple uh, uh, national tournaments. And I became Indian number one for three years. And then afterwards, I have represented my country uh, Asian Games 2018 and World Amateur Team Championship. And after that, I've done a uh, professional. And I play on the British European Tour and uh, WGI. Yes, and uh, after five years, I'm a two times uh, winner on the British European Tour, and also I'm the youngest uh, Indian winner on the British European Tour. And your support has actually helped Indian golf and women's golf in the country progress tremendously. So I think you all deserve a huge round of applause for your own. Um, to start off with my journey. Um, I've been playing the Indian Open, this is my 6th consecutive Indian Open and it's just been like surreal playing at my home turf. Uh, of course the tournament is not possible without Hero, Pawan sir has been supporting the tournament from the word go and uh, I think a big shout out to Pawan sir and Hero for being the constant support for encouraging women's golf in the country and of course DLF as well. Um, we have the Hero Women's Professional Golf Tour of India which has been doing incredibly well. We have some uh, Diksha plays on the tour, IP on the tour, Twesa plays. So we have a lot of good uh, players from the LET who are representing in India with amateurs like Agni Prashant as well, uh, doing extremely well. Um, I think I'm very excited for this, um, this for the tournament. Last year I finished seven. Uh, I was co-leading after two days. So I, I came in really close and um, I'm looking forward to closing it in this time. So, thank you. And uh, now you have a tournament, a Rolex series event also in Dubai. Uh, apart from a PJ Tour event, an Indian event, and on both the men's and the women's circuit. So, any particular reason why you went to Dubai and what next? Uh, are you uh, thinking of expanding more into golf events? Like, you already had events, uh, one uh, whole events like in the Hero Channel or the European uh, circuit. Yeah. Uh, so, Roy, uh, you've been uh, on this circuit as much as we've been over the past uh, more than a decade in your case. So, you know that, uh, you know, it's not about any particular event. It is about the overall commitment, a long-term commitment. I mentioned a little while back to golf and also to multiple disciplines of sports. Uh, you know, Hero Motor Corp is arguably <coughs> one of the world's largest corporate promoters of sports across disciplines, whether motorsports, field hockey, whether football, uh, golf, cricket, we've been there for many years. So it's, uh, I would just say that, you know, uh, everything that we do is part of an overall commitment to promotion of sports and sports persons. Uh, so, so that encompasses our philosophy in terms of associating with any particular event or platform. You How do you see golf and play a better role, of course, uh, when you well, see it? Uh, you said cricket diplomacy and yes. I assume that you are referring to Pakistan. Well, I mean, uh, of course, yeah, because uh, you can consider Honestly, it. see, we are have very good relations with uh, uh, most countries. And honestly, I don't believe that politics should come into sports because it should be about board, that's what the Olympics. Well, I was not focusing on the politics, but most likely on uh, when we talk, talk about soft power diplomacy, and game has been playing a very important role when it okay. comes to uh, okay. India's ties with different countries. And, you know, okay, see I understand about, that, but yes. you, you know, we, yes, we do have girls from 25 countries who come, and I'll be very honest, they all love coming to India, because, and I really think that they are the best uh, advocates of our country and again I'm going to go back to another theme I keep harping on that I wish I would have a government help because if the tourism department and the airlines area and other Indian airlines helped us it would really be so much more encouraging because these girls all go back from 25 countries and they say wow what a fat country we love the food we love the warmth we love the hospitality some of the players we try to send to Agra or Jaipur or whatever to see some of the sites, you know, because they express a desire to. They sometimes stay back after the tournament because they want to see our country. And they honestly are the best advocates.
for our country, for the game, for people. And they have some of the senior players have even seen our girls start at a very young age, not having any winners, to now having winners on the European circuit, on the international circuit. So these girls are also the best ambassadors we have for our country. Because, I mean, now everyone knows about Indian golfers. And like I said, 25 countries are coming, right from Southeast Asia to Europe to America to, I mean, so you name it. I mean, they are the best brand, brand ambassadors. And I'm proud to say that, I mean, Hero and DLF and WJL helped to promote us on an international level where no one even knew of. I mean, so many girls, I'll be very honest, came to India, knew of India, but they honestly thought they'd see bullock carts on the road. And it's not that. I mean, we have grown so dynamically as a nation, as Bharat, I'm so proud to say that. And even as a game. So, they are the best uh, the, uh, ambassadors of, uh, you know, the people who go back from these 25 countries to talk about us. Because then they talk to other people. And sometimes they even bring a mother or a father or a brother or a sister with them to say, wow, you know, we went to India. Last year, it's bad. Why didn't you also come? Multiple sports all over the world, ek saath chalte uh, So, and two actual true lovers and sports ke fans hain. Uh, to raat raat bhar look ke bhi match dekhte hain. Jo uh, time zone gap hota hai. Uh, so, uh, so, I think every sport will coexist. And nobody lagta ki ek sport, dusre sports ko koi uh, uska impact hai. I'm not sure, you know, how much of this, uh, I've come from a generation where this game was, um, a, you know, a male-dominated game in the country. Um, just as far back as uh, 1982, 1983, there were clubs in India which had signages, you know, like the Royal Calcutta Golf Club, etc. They had signages saying, men only, Shamiana, Women were not allowed to go there. Um, till 2012, till 2012, there were clubs that didn't even have women's washrooms. They didn't have toilets for women. Um, when our players went out and played golf, uh, you know, it was very interesting. It was very difficult for young girls in the earlier days to play golf because of the lack of facilities in terms of washroom, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, most importantly was the facilities that, you know, everybody knows, being a woman, uh, you need certain things, uh, you know, to help, you know, to go through that period of, in a month. Uh, people were scared, girls were scared, uh, parents would allow their girls out primarily due to the lack of facilities on our infrastructure and golf courses in the country. So I've seen that, I've seen that part of, uh, you know, women's golf, where as a youngster, even as a, uh, myself, as a player, uh, we had to, we had to do all kinds of things to go through that phase of our lives. The most important thing is, this got recognized. This was recognized uh, wherever we went, especially in the first eight, nine years, uh, not even eight, nine years, yeah, almost eight, nine years. The emphasis on providing facilities for women on golf courses was something that had to be requested for, taught, shared, and I think things have looked up since then, you know. So, girls got more comfortable, parents uh, got more comfortable, and we are still far away. We are still far from that. And considering a lot of the, you know, uh, what should I say, uh, I don't use it backwardness, but maybe gender parity in terms of uh, it being um, recognized previously as a men's sport only, uh, now things are very different. Girls are much more forthcoming. They have the confidence. Um, I think the whole scenario has changed. So now, as we go forward, a lot of this is behind us. And all girls, all players recognize this, you know. So we are going to go. And uh, all these, you know, factors which are around, 
uh, this growth are going, it's slowly going away. So, you know, we are, we are on the right track. Yeah, and why not, if some of you have influence over the, you know, BCCI, maybe you can ask them to share their money and uh, right with, with golf for women, for men, all the, all the, all the cricket players are going to the game of golf. So why don't they help us? I'm saying that. Please, please let us know. आई सर बहुत अच्छी बात है कि हम महिलाओं को आगे बढ़ावा दे रहे हैं बहुत अच्छी बात है मोदी जी की सोच है नहीं सोच जाओ बेटी को जाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ बेटी को आगे बढ़ाओ इसमें आप बहुत अग्रमणी में हैं तो क्या लगता है सर कि ये जो खेल है इसमें कुछ गवर्नमेंट भी मतलब गवर्नमेंट को भी कुछ करना चाहिए जबकि क्रिकेट में और अदर गेम्स में इस तरह का बहुत कुछ फैसिलिटी गवर्नमेंट देती है और आई थिंक दैट एक्चुअली अगर आप देखेंगे तो जो भी अगर क्रिकेट आप देखेंगे तो जो जो प्लेयर अभी बहुत बड़ी मन गए हैं कहाँ से आए हैं देर कम फ्रॉम ग्राउंड यू नो सो इफ देर एबल टू इफ देर एबल टू टेक जॉल्स टू यू नो द स्मॉलर सिटी वहाँ से टैलेंट जो निकलेगी वो आई एम श्योर बॉल से और भी बड़ा हो जी जी हंड्रेड परसेंट और ये इसमें ये बड़ी बात है कि महिलाएं हैं तो गवर्नमेंट को और आगे आना चाहिए कि महिलाएं इस साइड में उनका फैसिलिटी वगैरह अगर वो ज़्यादा करेंगे तो आई एम श्योर ऑटोमेटिकली जैसे मिस चंद्रिका बोल रही थी कि अगर ज़्यादा फैसिलिटी बनाएंगे तो ऑटोमेटिकली ज़्यादातर लेडीज वैसे भी आज तो लेडीज़ ज़्यादातर बहुत बहुत स्पोर्ट्स में आ रहे हैं सभी स्पोर्ट्स में लगा एग्जैक्टली आई एम श्योर वही होगा थैंक यू सर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू मैम जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत सी बातें महिलाओं को लेकर आपने कही हैं सभी ने क्वेश्चन भी पूछे मोदी जी कहते हैं बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ हम इस माध्यम से कहेंगे बेटी को और आगे बढ़ाओ जो हर खेल जो है आजकल जितने भी हो रहे हैं उसमें लेडीज़ हमारी महिलाएं बच्चियाँ सब आगे बढ़ रही हैं तो मैम जी इस तरह के खेल जो हैं इसमें गवर्नमेंट कितना इन्वॉल्व है क्या हो रहा है हम लोग को मैंने आपको बोला मैं पचास साल से इस खेल में गवर्नमेंट फंडिंग बहुत ही लिमिटेड है लिमिटेड फंडिंग है यहाँ पे स्पॉट में हमको ज़्यादा कॉपरेट से स्पॉन्सरशिप के थ्रू हम लोग को अपना ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चलाना पड़ता है टूर चलाना पड़ता है जो हमारा जो टूर है और विमेन इंडियन ओपन है उसमें गवर्नमेंट का जीरो फंडिंग है जीरो देर नो फंडिंग फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट इट्स ऑल स्पॉन्सरशिप फ्रॉम कॉपरेशन इसके लिए आपको बहुत खेल है बिल्कुल जो मैम जी पी एम ओ में जाके मोदी जी से आप इस चीज़ की गुहार लगा सकती हैं मेमोरेंडम दे सकती हैं एक एप्लीकेशन दे सकती हैं तो एक चीज़ जरूर क्या कहना चाहूँगी कि हमने हमारे जो ये हमारा जो स्पॉट है मालूम होना चाहिए कि ये एक करियर स्पॉट है जैसे स्किल होता है ना स्किल स्पॉट 
उनको ये ये गेम को रिकगनाइज करना चाहिए महिलाओं के लिए बच्चों के लिए एजर्स के करियर मतलब ये बहुत ही ज़रूरत है बहुत ही ज़रूरी है और मेरे को एक्चुअली ये मैसेज अगर वहाँ तक पहुँच सकता है तो देखो इसमें किसी भी प्रोफेशनल खेल खेल में वेदर टेनिस हो या गोल्फ हो किसी भी प्रोफेशनल इसको मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल अफेयर को अडॉप्ट करना चाहिए और लोगों को सेल्फ सफिशेंट स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन को सेल्फ सफिशेंट बनाना चाहिए इन स्पोर्ट्स से और इसमें इसी मिनिस्ट्री का बहुत बड़ा हाथ अगर हमको देंगे तो ये गेम बहुत ही आगे निकल जाएगा अनुराग ठाकुर जी हमारे माननीय वो खेल मंत्री हैं तो उनके पास भी आप जाके एक ग्रुप वहाँ मिल सकता है जाके इसको पास करा सकता है कानून बना सकता है अदर खेल्स के लिए या तो सभी को उसी तरीके से देखा जाए लेकिन ऐसा नहीं हो रहा है तो इसीलिए मैं जितना जितना इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स बड़ा है लास्ट फोर ईयर ठाकुर साहब के स्पेशली अंडर और उनसे प्रीवियसली वैसा कभी हिंदुस्तान में नहीं हुआ और उसकी रिजल्ट आप लोग सब देख रहे हैं आप रिजल्ट देख रहे हैं और अनुराग जी जी जान लगा देते हैं जान लगा रहे हैं और उनको सब पता है मगर एक चीज़ होता है कि जैसे मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट ये आम तौर पर एम एच स्पोर्ट्स को हेल्प करता है एम एच मगर यहाँ जो करियर है या अपनी लाइवलीहुड है या आमदनी है उसके लिए टोटली डिफरेंट यू नो एंगल चाहिए और उसमें बहुत ही ज़रूरी है कि मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल मिनिस्ट्री इनको थोड़ा पार्टिसिपेशन लेना चाहिए खाली यू नो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर नहीं कर सकता इसमें ज्वाइंट होना चाहिए लेकिन फिर भी अगर मोदी जी चाहें तो कुछ भी हो सकता है तो मोदी जी अगर कह देंगे तो वो मानना पड़ेगा तो पर्सनली आप ग्रुप के साथ वहाँ मिलें और हम मोदी जी से रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे कि मैम जी ने जो बात कही है उन तक पहुँच जाए और जो है इसमें इम्प्लीमेंट हो जाए थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम नमस्कार दोस्तों हितेशी वक्सी जी हमारे साथ में हैं वोमेन डी जो गोल्फ है उसकी शुरुआत होने जा रही है पिछले साल भी इसी तरह से प्रोग्राम हुआ था क्या कहना चाहेंगे कितनी एक्साइटिंग है आप और इसको लेके क्या सोचती हैं आखिरकार घर में है ये इवेंट अगले महीने से शुरू है तो बहुत ज़्यादा ही ज़्यादा जोश एक्साइटिंग है कर्ज घर के सारे लोग आएंगे इंडिया के सारे लोग आएंगे बहुत एक्साइटिंग है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है आप तो घर पे है तो सब घर पे है कब से आपने इसके बारे में सोचा और कब आपने शुरुआत की मैं जब छः साल की थी तब मैंने पहली बार गोल्फ शुरू किया था अब मैं उन्नीस साल की हूँ तो ये इवेंट साल में एक बार आता है इंडिया में तो जब शायद शुरू होता है तब से लगता है कि ये एक इवेंट आएगा घर पे जो खेलना है और अच्छे से खेलना है दिल लगा के लेकिन क्या आपने सोचा नहीं है कि बाहर भी जाएं बाहर भी खेलें इस तरह से भी कुछ सोच विचार किया हाँ हाँ क्यों नहीं अभी जैसे मेरे पास ऑस्ट्रेलियन टोक आ गए मेरे पास साउथ अफ्रीकन टोक आ गए एल ई टी एस टोक आ गए तो बाहर भी खेलना है बट जो घर पर है उसको तो खेलना ही खेलना उसको खेलना ही है तो आपकी आई कौन कौन है मेरी आई थी अगर आप इंडियन टोक पर बात करें तो वानी भी है तो ऐसा भी है इन सबको बचपन से देखा है खेलते हुए और अब इनके साथ खेलते हैं तो और भी ज़्यादा अच्छा लगता है अगर आप बाहर पूछें इंटरनेशनल प्ले तो लिडिया को है जो बहुत ज़्यादा मुझे पसंद है बच्चियों को लेके बहुत तकलीफें हैं जो गवर्नमेंट इस पर अवेयरनेस नहीं है तो क्या लगता है आपको कि इसमें गवर्नमेंट को भी इन्वॉल्व होना चाहिए ताकि जो है कम से कम मूलभूत जो सुविधा है वो मिलनी चाहिए हाँ ज़रूर जैसे हर स्पोर्ट अपने अपने एरिया में अच्छा कर रहा है वैसे गोल्फ को भी करना चाहिए और अगर गवर्नमेंट की सपोर्ट मिल जाए तो और भी अच्छा हो जाए तो क्यों नहीं लगे जिसका सपोर्ट मिले उतना अच्छा है तो थैंक यू वेरी मच आप यहाँ हैं आप खेलें हम आपके खेल देखने के लिए आएंगे सभी आएंगे भारतवासियों को बहुत खुशी है कि आप इसमें खेलें और रुचि रखें ताकि जो है हम इंटरनेशनली भी इसमें वर्क कर सकें ज़रूर ज़रूर और इस बार भारतीय प्लेयर बहुत अच्छा खेलेंगे थैंक यू वेरी मच नमस्कार दोस्तों गोरिका जी हमारे साथ में हैं आइए हम गोनिका जी से बात करेंगी आने वाली बच्चियों के लिए क्या मैसेज है पर आई थिंक गोल्फ मेरे लिए एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट गेम रहा है uh, मैं इस गेम को 15 ईयर्स से खेल रही हूँ एंड अब मैं एक प्रोफेशनल गोल्फर हूँ तो अब ये मेरा करियर भी है एंड आई थिंक सारी गर्ल्स को जो इस गेम में आना चाहती है इस गेम में और एडवांस करना चाहती है आई वुड से डेडिकेशन और हार्डवर्क का कोई सब्सटीट्यूशन नहीं है 
आप सिर्फ डेडिकेटेड रहिए अपना हार्ड वर्क करते रहिए एंड एक बड़े ऑनेस्ट एफर्ट के साथ अपनी जर्नी को बिगिन करो और कंसिस्टेंट भी रहो जब आप इस गेम में हैं तो क्या क्या तकलीफें आप महसूस करती हैं आई थिंक वही सारी तकलीफें जो नॉर्मल स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन के साथ आती हैं काफ़ी हार्ड भी फेजेस आते हैं बीन ए स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन इज़ नॉट ईजी काफ़ी लोज आते हैं काफ़ी चैलेंजेस आते हैं जहाँ पे शायद आपका गेम उस लेवल पे नहीं चलता जिस पे आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हो जिस पे आप चाहते हो तो आई थिंक उन चैलेंजेस को ओवरकम करने के लिए पेरेंट्स का सपोर्ट बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है बहुत ज़्यादा और उनका सपोर्ट आपको आपके लिए शुरू से ही बिल्कुल मैं मैं बहुत ब्लेस्ड हूँ कि इनफैक्ट मेरा छोटा भाई भी खेलता है ये प्रोफेशनल गॉल्फर है और अभी वो दो हफ्ते पहले जीता है उसका नाम सनहित है एंड सने तो मुझे मेरे पेरेंट्स ने बचपन से बहुत सपोर्ट करा है हमारे साथ ट्रैवल करना अभी भी हमारे साथ ट्रैवल करते हैं मेरे साथ मेरे भाई के साथ तो उन्होंने भी बहुत ज़्यादा जितना हमने हार्ड वर्क करा है शायद हमसे ज़्यादा ही करा और अभी गोल्फ को लेके जे एंड के में चार तरीक से कपिल देव जी वहाँ पहुँच रहे हैं शायद आपको मालूम होगा जम्मू में जो मैच चल रहा है जम्मू तभी में तो क्या आप वहाँ पहुँच रही हैं नहीं बट मेरा भाई ज़रूर पहुँच रहे हैं मेरा भाई वो मैच खेल रहे हैं क्योंकि कपिल देव जी वहाँ गए हैं और बहुत अच्छी बात है कि देश के हर एक हिस्से में इस तरह की गेम में चल रही है ताकि अवेयरनेस भी रहता है बल्कि ये गेम रूरल एरिए में भी होनी चाहिए बट सम प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ग्राउंड ऑनेस्टी के साथ वुमेंस गोल्फ एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया वर्क कर रहा है टू ग्रो द स्पोर्ट आई थिंक इट्स ओनली अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम कि गोल्फ रूरल एरियाज में भी पहुँचेगा तो एक्चुअली वहाँ ग्राउंड इसमें काफ़ी लंबा चाहिए जो गुड़गांव में इस तरह से तो ये अभी गुड़गांव में हो रहा है डी एल एफ एरिए में गोल्फ एक्चुअली बहुत ज़्यादा ग्रो हो चुका है इंडिया में नॉट जस्ट गुड़गांव गुड़गांव में ऑफकोर्स चार पांच गोल्फ कोर्सेज हैं जो बहुत होते हैं छोटी सी सिटी में एंड आई थिंक पूरे इंडिया में अब गोल्फ की बहुत डोमिनेंस है एक ये बार ही है जहाँ पर गोल्फ की पॉपुलरिटी बढ़ रही है एंड आई थिंक लाइक जैसा मैंने बोला कि वुमेंस गोल्फ एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया हीरो डी एल एफ आई थिंक ऐसे हमें और कॉर्पोरेट सपोर्टर्स चाहिए जो क्योंकि इसमें सपोर्ट बहुत ज़रूरी है बिल्कुल आई थिंक हर चीज़ में ज़रूरी है नई बच्चियां हैं उनके लिए एक मैसेज आप दे दें कि वो भी इस गेम में खुल के आए आई थिंक आप बिल्कुल भी ये मैं सोचो कि ये कोई एलिटेस्ट स्पोर्ट है कि इसको सिर्फ एक अपर क्लास खेल सकती है और हर टाइप का कोई भी खेल सकता है आप बस पैशनेट होने चाहिए एंड आपको एक हार्ड वर्क और डेडिकेशन जो एक स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन की लाइफ है वो वैल्यूज आप में होनी चाहिए थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार दोस्तों जानवी जी हमारे साथ में हैं वोमेन इंडियन ओपन जो गोल्फ का गेम है सभी जानते हैं भारतवासी वो होने जा रहा है और सभी उसमें हिस्सा लें हालांकि जम्मू तभी में भी ये चार तरीक से खेला जा रहा है जिसमें कपिल देव जी वहाँ पहुँच रहे हैं तो आइए आज हाँ मैम से बात करते हैं कि किस तरह से आपने ये सोचा कि मैं यही एक गेम चुन ने इसी को क्यों चुना क्योंकि बहुत कठिन और महंगा गेम जब मैंने शुरुआत किया तब मुझे नहीं इस बात की याद था कि ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा महंगा गेम है जब स्टार्टिंग में खेला था तब तो बस खेलने का मन था कुछ अच्छा लगा करने के लिए तो ये कर लिया एंड इस गेम ने मुझे बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ दी है कि मैं अपने आप को जानूँ अपने आप को समझूँ कैसे मेरा दिमाग चलता है कैसे मेरे भावनाएँ हैं जो खेल के साथ ऊपर नीचे होती रहती हैं जितना मैंने अपने आप को जाना उतना मैंने बेटर अपने भावनाओं को कंट्रोल में किया एंड जितना मैंने अपने आप को कंट्रोल किया उतना मैंने अच्छा खेला जितना अच्छा खेला उतनी बार जीता तो हर बार जीतने का खुशी अलग मिलती है तो बस उसी तो ये स्कूल से ही आपके जहन में थे या बाद में आया आपने गेम देखा होगा फिर आपने सोचा होगा कि दैट इज़ द गुड वे मैं आठ वर्ष की थी जब मैंने ये गेम प्रारंभ किया था और करते करते इतना आगे आगे भी लगा कि अब इसी में कुछ करेंगे जो करेंगे हॉर्न में भी आप गई हैं कहीं गेम खेलने के लिए कौन कौन सी कंट्री में विजिट किया आपने ऑस्ट्रेलिया जापान थाईलैंड सिंगापुर मलेशिया एंड स्पेन बहुत अच्छी बात है थैंक यू वेरी मच जो आने वाली बच्चियाँ हैं जो अपना भविष्य तलाश रही हैं गेम में क्या कहना चाहेंगी उनके लिए हो सकता है करके दिखाओ थैंक यू खेलो इंडिया खेलो तो अनुराग ठाकुर जी से आप मिली वो खेल मंत्री हैं हमारे मिले हैं उनसे तो उनसे ज़रूर मिले और इस गेम को जो है उनसे बताएं ताकि गवर्नमेंट भी इसमें इन्वॉल्व हो और ताकि जो है इसमें सपोर्ट मिले इंडिया आगे बढ़े थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच